Welcome in the next section of our Pandas tutorial and in this lecture we will be understanding about our last component of this tutorial that is all the stats involved in Pandas data frame. So for understanding of this lecture we are using this particular data frame okay. So this is our data. We will be creating the data frame using this data only. So df1 equals to pd dot data frame and we'll pass on our data right so this is our data we'll be working on now what if i want to calculate the sum of all the marks my class has scored for that i'll be using da1 now which column i want i want marks column i want to total the number of marks my class had scored so i'll use some function so it will total the number of values in this particular column right now what if i want to calculate the average marks my class has scored so for that i'll simply use average average function okay so sorry we'll use mean function okay so this is the mean marks that is the average marks my class had scored okay what if i want the cumulative sum of the marks scored by my class for that i'll use what i want cumulative sum so i'll use cum sum that means cumulative sum so you can see that it has shown us the cumulative sum of the marks scored by my class so 30 30 30 plus 22 is 52 52 plus 17 is 69 and 69 plus 27 equals to 96 right what if i want to count the total students who have appeared in my class so for that i'll simply use df1 and then i'll say roll number dot count so it's showing four because we have four entries so that means four students have given them exam also i can calculate the minimum marks scored by my class so here we go you must be thinking that it is pretty easy to see it over here but when we have a large data set then this function plays a really important role we can simply use max to find the maximum value in our data frame also we can find the variation in the marks of each student we can find the standard deviation in the marks distribution and we can also find the correlation of these three columns with each other okay so that's it so you can see that marks and marks column it's very easy to understand you can see that marks and marks paper id and paper id roll number and roll number each column will have 100 percent correlation with itself it's very obvious and here you can see that marks correlation with paper id or you can say paper id correlation with marks both these three values are same right so since it is having a positive value that means on increasing the paper id number our marks is also increasing well it's not a very obvious thing it is this data is created by me only we are not using a uh, standard data set so that's why you must be thinking that changing the paper id can change the marks no that's not the case it's just the value we have so you just understand the positive value means that these two particular columns have a positive correlation and a positive correlation means that on increasing the value for one column will increase the value for one that means the data set we have is these two columns are directly proportional to each other and in case of roll number marks roll number paper id we have negative value that means the roll number column is having a negative correlation with these two columns marks and paper id that means that on increasing the values for this particular column wherever this column has higher values 
at that particular location the other two columns have lower value right because these have negative correlation so this was all in this particular tutorial we are done with our pandas tutorial congratulations so we'll meet you in the next lecture till then keep following and best of luck